Ooh, do not skip this video. If you clicked on today's video, whether you're looking for a new jump shot or you've been struggling for shooting, this is the place for you. This is the ultimate jump shot video. I will be showing statistics on every base release and jump shot in both current gen and next gen. I will also be showing the best jump shots for all builds, all three point ratings on current gen and next gen. Not only that, but I have the best settings, tips and tricks, and badges for both current gen and next gen for shooting in NBA 2K. 22. Basically, whatever you're looking for when it comes to shooting is in this video. And if you watch this video all the way through, I can guarantee you, you will improve when it comes to shooting in NBA 2K22. And if you have any questions once this video is over, you can DM me on Twitter. I try to respond to as many people as possible. Make sure to drop a like on this video if this video helps you out at all. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And let's get straight into the video. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka WSD, and I am back at it with yet another banger. And I have a very highly requested video for you guys today. A lot of you guys have been asking me how I shoot so good on 2K22 and what my jump shot is. So, everything you guys need to know about shooting in NBA 2K22, whether it's on current or next gen, is in this video. And that's why this is the ultimate jump shot video. So, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Drop a like on the video as well. And if you guys want to watch me play live, make sure to follow my twitch double h on twitch now why you guys should listen to me i have a really good record on this game i have about a 93 win percent on nba 2k22 really every 2k i always have a 90 plus win percent i've won a lot of the events even though it's hard to win events especially this year because a lot of the boosters kind of take them over i've hit legend multiple times in 2k i've really just played a lot of 2k so i know the ins of out when it comes to shooting in 2k now i'm going to be giving you guys a lot of jump shots in this video a lot of tips and stuff but i'm going to give you guys the top three jump shots on next gen and current gen i'm also going to be giving you my jump shot on next gen and current gen and i'm also going to give you guys a bunch of statistics that not a lot of people know from 2k labs if you want to comment down below a jump shot that you think is absolutely green make sure to comment it down below uh, we're also going to be talking about a lot of tips and tricks badges settings all that good stuff is all going to be in this video so let's just get straight into first thing in the video okay so the first thing is going to be the settings now like i said we're going to be showing the best settings on nba 2k22 current gen and next gen now a lot of this is a pretty basic stuff but some of it you might not know okay so both on next gen and current gen you're going to want to click that start button you're going to want to go to your options and settings and then you're going to want to go to your controller settings to start off the video now vibration you're going to want to turn that on okay uh, vibration doesn't work for shots on either next gen or current gen but it does you know like when you bump someone on defense or when you dribble the ball or when you get a dunk sometimes it vibrates and sometimes people just play better with that i don't know but it doesn't really affect shooting that much so i guess it doesn't really matter now the shot meter both next gen and current gen you're gonna want to turn this off okay now i don't know about you guys if you use your shot meter but i'm going to show you guys how to improve with no shot meter if you're not good with it and that's why you like keeping it on and that'll be later in this video so stay tuned but you're going to want to take it off because it gives you a boost to making your shots and greening your shots both on next gen and current gen now shot timing you're going to want to put that on shots only because if you put that on layups too you're going to miss a lot of your layups on both except uh, especially current gen a uh, real player percentage you don't want to use that either it's not going to go in as much as it, when you're a good shooter on this game but yeah just put it on shots only that's what you want it on okay and then pro stick function this is just drill moves absolute absolute you can do whatever that's all dribbling stuff and that's really it for the first page of settings there's nothing really else here that's gonna help or change anything with your shooting so you're gonna want to back out and then go to just the settings tab now a lot of this is my career stuff but one that is not my career is shot feedback okay you're gonna want to put this at all shots now basically what this is is this is the little thing in the top right both on current gen and next gen that gives you how or tells you how open the shots you're taking or how contested they are on offense and defense and tells you if they're slightly early slightly late or green that way if you miss or a shot in game and it's like it says slightly early you could be like okay i gotta time it a little later or it says slightly late oh, okay now i gotta time it a little earlier the next shot 
or if you're taking contested shots you want to know how contested these shots are and where where the line draws especially with blinders and stuff you want to be able to know you know the spaces and the holes of where to shoot right you know what i mean now another thing is the shot meter color like i said don't use shot meter but if you were to use it i mean you could change the color of your shot meter right here there's a bunch of different colors now another thing that's on current gen and next gen that is new this year if you want to go to your basically on current gen you want to go to your my player go to jump shot splash on next gen go to my animations and then go to jump shot splash and basically there's a thing called player indicator and perfect release now the player indicator is the thing that appears under your player in game and then the animations and sound effects is what the green looks like when you green and what the sound effect makes a lot of people and a lot of stage players say that if you just take the animation and sound effect completely off you get more greens now i don't think that's necessarily true so i keep the animation and sound effect on but when it comes to the indicator this takes away your stamina bar sometimes so i would just not put an indicator on uh definitely don't do that i feel like sometimes it messes up my jump shot too so i would just take off the indicator and then leave whatever animation and sound effect you want now enough talking about the best settings for both current gen and next gen let's move on to the next thing which is tips and tricks all right now we're moving on to the tips and tricks for NBA 2K22 current gen and next gen. Now, there are a lot of good things to listen in this section. We're going to be talking about a lot of things that could help you with your shooting and the ways that you can improve on your shooting and shooting with no meter, right? So, the first thing is obviously buying boosts, okay? Now, you can go to the boost now on current gen or you can go to your phone, which is also on next gen. You can literally just buy boosts from your phone. Get jump shot boosts. If you're not using jump shot boosts, you're going to shoot worse, bro. I use jump shot boosts for every single game there is no reason not to buy jump shot boost if you don't have vc well you gotta stop spending your vc on something else bro you gotta you gotta get your jump shot boost because those are important another thing you can buy gatorade from your phone both on next gen and current gen or you can go to the gatorade facility now the gatorade is pretty important because the more stamina you have after you dribble and get open for a shot the more likely you are to make that shot obviously so there's now gatorade can get very expensive that's like I, that's why i really like winning it off the wheel so make sure you spin your wheel on next gen and current gen now if you don't want to buy all the gatorade because i don't really want to either it's very expensive um there are three different types of gatorade so let's look at what each one does so the first one slows down your like loss of energy by 25 percent. so basically let's say you have full energy you're running out of the court it's not going to drain as much as usual and then the blue one recovers energy 25 percent faster so after you lose your energy and then you're catching your breath it goes back up 25 percent faster which i don't i think that's probably the worst one i'm not gonna lie and then the green yellow lime one whatever it basically increases your energy by 20 percent which is probably the best one to go with so if you were to buy gatorade just get the lime one another thing you're going to want to do is get gym rat now on current gen you can get gym rat by going to the quest unlocking the quest talking to whoever you need to talk to under your quest tab and either winning an nba championship at micro or just being a level 40 in that season where you have that build okay now on next gen it's a lot more difficult you basically have to do like all these gatorade challenges like some crazy amount of them and then like it doesn't even really do anything so to be honest on next gen you don't need to get gym rat don't even bother but current gen just do one of those two things it's not that hard plus it increases your speed all that stuff all your physicals plus four which is a very big increase so you're definitely going to want to do that because the more speed stamina all that good stuff acceleration the faster you are the more you're going to get open and the more you know what i mean like it's just going to be easier for you to get open and shoot right all right now we're going to be going to the my court now you can either go to the my court on current gen on next gen go reserve yourself a court um in the gatorade facility and now on current gen you can pick drills next gen it's a little different but if you're on current gen make sure to never do the shoot around drill it basically like gives you a bunch of extra full bars and it's kind of it just it's not a good way to time your shot um compared to in game so don't shoot in this shoot around mode okay i don't know what it is but you can grin in there but it's just not the same it's not very similar to park none of these are very similar to the park but that one's like way off i'm not gonna lie but do the ball machine drill this is a very good drill to practice now unfortunately next gen you're just gonna have to get your own rebounds but current gen you can just click a and it's just gonna pass the ball right back to you okay now what i would recommend to do if you want to get used to your jump shot you want to get used to no meter is just shoot okay shoot 10 spots from the left corner 
and then maybe go have like goals like five greens in a row from each spot around the three-point line or five greens in a row from each spot in the mid-range like get used to your timing mid-ranges and three-pointers have different timing as well uh so yeah that's what i would do like just get used to it you the, the only way to get better at shooting in this game is practicing too so getting in your my court and practicing is going to be a lot better than just going out in the park on next gen or current gen or going out on the stage and just trying to learn there okay you know you know what i mean because when you get open you want to hit your shot so you got to make sure when you are open you know how to time your shot right that's the first step now something else that you guys want to know is how to time your shot and a lot of people ask me how do you time your shot now i would recommend two different things either muscle memory or a cue now muscle memory is basically like okay you green the shot okay let me time it just how i timed it after i green it right and then you kind of just memorize the timing now that's how i do it on current gen next gen i do not recommend muscle memory at all because on next gen when you get tired your jump shot changes like pretty quickly like it's a lot more drastic than current gen so i would use something called a q now what a q is is when you look at something on your player to know when to release the ball and you can also use this on current gen it works very well in current gen now you can either look at three different things you can look at their feet you can look at the hands or you can look at the ball now the feet's a little more difficult but the hands you want to look when your player releases the ball so when he's at his highest extension in the shot same with the ball when the ball's above your player's head that's when you want to release the shot so as you can see right here my player's green window right where he greens it is right when the wrist starts flicking or right when the ball reaches its highest point in the jump shot that's when you want to release the jump shot once you get that down you're gonna be good to go now just keep practicing this with no meter okay once you take off that meter never go back trust me you're going to get used to it i don't care if you're bad at it now just keep shooting with no meter and you will improve trust okay so here is the best badges for nba 2k22 current gen and next gen for shooting now as you guys know i have two different builds on both next gen i have this six seven build that has like an 88 three-pointer i also had a build with an 82 three-pointer but on current gen i have a build with like a 68 three-pointer which i usually use and i have a build with a uh 80 three-pointer and a build with like a 72 three-pointer but most of my games i say about 90 percent of my games on current gen i was using a 68 three-pointer so i know how to shoot with a low three-pointer i know how to shoot with a high three-pointer and I know what badges to work with, right? So the badges are very similar both on current gen and next gen. And the, the setup is just going to look a little different. Now, the number one badge both on current gen and next gen is 100% sniper. Now, basically what sniper does is it, I mean, it does what the, the, the definition says, exaggerates the impact of good and bad poor shots timing and selection so this badge literally helps you green and hit whites i don't know how, who made this badge from 2k but this is like the most overpowered shooting badge i don't know why it's in the game but you need to max this out sniper is a very good badge now i'm also going to talk about the differences between a spot up shooting badges and a like an iso or guard shooting badge because those are two different things so after sniper no matter what build you're on the second best um badge is going to be hot zone hunter so sniper and hot zone hunter are the two best shooting badges regardless of what play style you're doing catch and shoot or dribbling around it does not matter those are the two best badges is make sure you get your hot zones now after that we're gonna start with the best badges for guards and like iso players play shots running around screens whatever okay now you're gonna want to do stop and pop stop and pop is basically like when you quick stop or you dribble stop shoot okay this is gonna give you a boost to that stop and pop very good badge now if you're like a play shot small build blinders and mismatch expert are going to be those next two badges and basically what blinders does is it makes it so if the players on your side they don't get any contest and mismatch expert is basically if someone is guarding you that's taller than you you're gonna shoot like yellow greens contested greens or you're just gonna be able to you know the green window is gonna be so much more bigger with mismatch expert so if you're a smaller player definitely go with that but if you're more like an iso player the next badges would definitely be like lucky number seven green machine those are two good badges now what lucky number seven does is it makes you get a huge boost in the first seven seconds of the shot clock so if you're playing twos that is huge i would oh, no matter what your build is i would like to 
USA, we're unlucky number seven on bronze unless you're like a catch and shoot player. But after those badges, of course, Chef, you're gonna want Chef on no matter what guard build you're on. Basically, this is like limitless range. Yes, it does work. It's just not a catch and shoot badge. It's like a dribble then shoot badge. So yeah, make sure you have Chef, I would say on at least silver. Then after that, it's really just personal preference if you have any badges available. If you like to fade, you could do circus threes on next gen. If you're more of a taller ISO player, you could do dead eye. If you're like a two way that can't shoot well and people leave you wide open, rhythm shooter could be a good badge because it boosts your shot when you kind of like take your time to shoot, you know, you stand there, whatever. Now when it comes to players that sit corner or spot up, and you're like a big man or you're a lockdown whatever like i said sniper and hot zone hunter are the two best badges for you whether it's current or next gen but the next badges obviously you're gonna want to have catch and shoot you're gonna want to have limitless spot up this is basically limitless range but spot up to catch and shoots you're definitely gonna want to have those two badges corner specialist is another good badge if you're in the corner clutch shooters another good one for corner shooters on either like bronze or silver on next gen or current gen because usually i feel like a lot of corner centers get the ball at the you know when the when the score is more than 16 points and that's when this badge is gonna activate and you're gonna need to hit a clutch shot in the corner last play type stuff so that's a good badge as well dead eyes another good one for catch and shoot players because players are trying to help off of the iso player or help off the screen and then you pop or you you know hit they hit you in the corner or whatever and they're trying to get back to you dead eyes a great one for that one but besides that a lot of the badges are kind of just personal preference there's a definition for each badge if you guys badge if you guys want to read through them but the most important badges for guards sniper hot zone hunter blinders mismatch experts stop and pop and then obviously spot ups you got to have sniper hot zone hunter maybe catch and shoot limitless spot up you know maybe clutch shooter and maybe dead eye something like that but that's really the best badges for nba 2k22 on current gen and next gen all right now i'm going to be talking about the best jump shots in the game for nba 2k22 current gen and nba 2k22 next gen i'm going to be giving you guys the best jump shots for both games okay whether you're guard center lock you know corner sitter iso player does not matter i'm also going to show you guys how to create your own jump shot that caters to you your build your three point rating all that good stuff and a lot of statistics on um, a lot of bases or releases in the game so you can just sign on what your jump shot could be or which base release you guys want to lean to in your jump shot and i'm also going to show you guys my jump shot for nba 2k22 current gen and next gen now if you skip to this part of the video make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new let's start with nba 2k22 current gen and another thing is if you guys have any jump shot suggestions make sure to comment them down below and you guys can share your jump shots with everybody in the comment section. Now, the first jump shot, base 98, Rudy Gay, release 99, 70, 30, blending. Now, all these jump shots are going to have 100% speed. If you do not like how fast these jump shots are, you can always slow them down if needed. But the faster the jump shot, the harder it is going to be for defenders to contest you and get to you. And the more open your shots are going to be. So, this is the first jump shot right here. Very good jump shot. Easy to time. If you use jump shot 98 in 2K20, you're definitely going to enjoy this jump shot. Shot. The next jump shot is base three, Rudy Gay, Paul Pierce, 60 40 blending. This is a very good jump shot as well. This is another good jump shot right here. Uh, base three has been on the rise. It's a very fast jump shot. A lot of people have been using it, especially on the threes court. And then my third jump shot for y'all on current gen set shot 25, release 15, release 16. 55 45 blending those three jump shots are very elite jump shots i'm also going to show my jump shot on current gen in a second here but before we do that let's move on to the best next gen jump shots i got three jump shots for y'all right here the first one is going to be base 25 stephen curry stephen curry this is a very good jump shot huge green window very easy to time so if you have trouble shooting this might be the jump shot for you another good one we're we're going back to base 98 base 98 rudy gay ray allen 55 45 blending i mean really with these jump shots it's all about the base and which one you like better they're all very good very easy to time and stuff the third jump shot for nba 2k22 next shot is going to be dwayne wade tony parker tony parker another very underrated jump shot right here not a lot of people be using tony parker but it is a very nice release to use in the game now, I'm going to tell you guys my jump shots for NBA 2K22 current gen and next down. But before I do that, I'm going to show you guys how I made my jump shot so you guys can make your own jump shot if you would like. So on the screen right now, I am going to show a screenshot of the best overall bases 
you can use an NBA 2K22 current gen. And the reason I'm showing bases on the screen right now is because releases don't matter. They don't affect your green window. They don't affect the green window size. They don't affect, uh, affect the make percentage, the late make percentage, the middle make percentage, the early make percentage, the average make percentage, what whites go in, what don't. Releases don't matter. They're all for shows so they can help you time your jump shot like we talked about before the queue. They help make it easier for you to look at your jump shot and know when to time. Base actually affects what your how good your jump shot is okay so these are the top bases in the game and the ratings for each thing now another thing i'm going to show on the screen right now is a screenshot of the highest green windows in nba 2k 22 current gen that doesn't mean these are the best bases but these have the highest green windows so if you're trying to shoot greens these jump shots these jump shot bases might be good for you i cannot stress that enough these are the basis of the jump shot so you can look at these two lists for current gen and decide what base you want to use now once you get your base you're going to decide your releases and the only thing i want you to do with releases is think of players or jump shots you used in past 2ks what player is like always in your jump shot you know what i mean like what players always in there and that you always found easy the time for me i always have had rudy gay in my jump shot i've always had dante x in my jump shot sometimes i'll be having stephen curry in there use jump shots or releases that you've usually had in your jump shots because you're already used to them you already know how to time those depending on the release one or two it doesn't really matter it just matters your blending that you're going with which you could also mix mix up i would just by default go 50 50 and then go from there mix it up now the next screenshot i'm going to show on the screen is going to be nba 2k 22 next gen top bases in the game these are the best overall bases for everything you can look at all the stats right here on the screen this is the list right here so once again, if you're a next gen player, you decide on what base you want to use. And then this screenshot on the screen is the highest green window base jump shots in the game. So once again, you decide on your base, you can pick two releases that you've usually had in your jump shots and then just fit, do the blending and the speed and boom, there's your own custom jump shot. So that's how I made my jump shots in NBA 2K22 current gen and next gen. And now I'm going to show you my NBA 2K22 current gen jump shot. So here is the jump shot. Jump shot 25 is the base. This is one of the bases that was on one of those lists for current gen very good jump shot i found this was the overall best base on current gen in my opinion based on all the numbers so i put it on and then guess what i did next i put some releases on that i usually have in my jump shot y'all know i always have rudy gay and Dante to xm so release one i went rudy gay release two i went down to xm i went 60 40 60 rudy gay 40 xm max speed and boom this jump shot is amazing for you for me i'm probably never changing this the entire year on nba 2k 22 current gen uh so yeah that's the jump shot i have now my jump shot on nba 2k 22 next gen is going to be right here now i went with base three this time because i found on next gen your jump shot slows down a lot with low energy so i went with the fastest jump shot in the game the fastest base in the game is jump shot three and then release one guess what it's the same thing for current gen release one rudy gay release two dante exum those are the easiest for me to time release speed max and then of course the same blending 60 rudy gay 40 dante exum boom there's my jump shots on both games. Now, make sure to comment down below your jump shots, what position you play, what's your build, and we can share jump shots in the comment section because I basically, this is the ultimate jump shot video, okay? Everything you need for shooting on both games is literally in this video, okay? Now, if this video helped you out at all, make sure to drop a like. Smash that like button, y'all. This video took a long time to record and edit. Got y'all everything you need to know in this video make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new 1 million subscribers on the way and if you guys want to watch me play live on next gen or current gen you can follow my twitch which is double h literally just all one word i'm verified on there very easy to find anyways y'all it's been your boy henry aka double hdf and i'm out y'all peace